Hey guys, uh, welcome to Coastal Maine Wildlife with Mr. Kent. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to get started with talking about the lobster. So the lobster is found in the Atlantic Ocean and is known for its large meaty claws. Uh, the lobster can live for up to 100 years. That's a really long time. Uh, lobsters are a member of the crustacean family. Uh, this family also has uh, shrimp, uh, crabs. Uh, those are some of the things that are in the crustacean family as well as the lobsters. Uh, when a lobster grows, uh, it outgrows its outer shell and has to discard it in order to grow. So uh, much like bugs do, uh, lobsters and other crustaceans have their bones on the outside of their body. So when they get too big for their their bones, basically, they have to shed the shed the shells, and they have to wait to regrow a new shell. And this can take some time. So while this is happening, their bodies are very soft and squishy. Um, lobsters can taste with their legs, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to do that, but that's pretty cool still. Uh, they do not have brains either, uh, which is very interesting. Um, and they are also scavengers. So they eat basically whatever floats to the bottom of the ocean. It can be anything. Uh, they don't care. They'll just eat it. They're uh, pretty useful for, for ocean life. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the Atlantic puffin. Uh, puffins are shorebirds whose habitat ranges from the eastern coast of Canada and the United States, and also the western coast of Europe. Puffins are carnivores, so that means that they like to eat meat. Uh, their favorite food is uh, fish. Uh, puffins' beaks uh, change colors depending on the season, which is pretty cool. Uh, and the puffin is a terrific flyer. Their wings can be up to 400 times a minute. That's a lot. I think my arms would get tired. Uh, the adult puffin digs a hole in the ground. Uh, these holes are called burrows. And uh, this is where the mother puffins will lay her eggs and uh, they have their babies. And a baby puffin is called a puffling, which is pretty adorable. Next, we're going to talk about the humpback whale. Uh, the humpback whale is found in every ocean. Uh, like many whales, the humpback whale eats krill, plankton, and small fish. So krill and plankton, uh, they are super, super small organisms. Um, they are, uh, most of them can really only be seen with a magnifying glass. Um, so uh, like the moose, uh, a male whale is called a bull. A female whale is called a cow, and a baby whale is called a calf. Um, and so whales are mammals, uh, so they need to breathe oxygen. So every once in a while, they need to come up to the surface of the water and just put their heads above the water and take in a deep breath before diving back down. Uh, and humpback whales uh, communicate to each other using really loud songs that can last for up to 30 minutes. I know I couldn't sing for 30 minutes. Next, we're going to talk about the harbor seal. Uh, these guys are found in coastal waters of the northern Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as well as the Baltic and North Seas. Uh, the harbor seal is a carnivore. Uh, they eat fish and squid. Uh, a seal can stay warm in cold weather with a thick layer of fat known as blubber. Uh, female harbor seals have been known to live longer than males, probably around, around like 10 or 15 years longer than males. Uh, a male seal is called a bull, a female seal, seal is called a cow, and a baby seal is called a pup. Uh, and we actually had a famous harbor seal that was here in Maine. His name was Andre, and uh, there's a statue of him in Rockport. Um, he's long gone now, but they basically just found a baby, well, a seal pup uh, that was abandoned uh, in one of the harbors. And he just kind of stuck around, and people who lived in the area named him, and I'm pretty sure they fed him, too. He was, he was pretty famous. There are books and movies on him. Uh, so today we learned about some of the wildlife that call the coast of Maine home. So I would like to know, what are some of the, your favorite things to do at the beach? Uh, what's your favorite animal? It doesn't have to be one of the ones we've talked about. Uh, and I would also like to know why it's your favorite animal. 
Uh, and what is your favorite animal you have ever seen in person? So, like, it doesn't have to be your favorite animal. Just an animal that you've seen in person that you thought was really, really cool. All right. That will end my uh, our discussion here. Uh, I hope you all stay safe. And, uh, yeah, just enjoy. <laughs>